Welcome to my YouTube channel, Rick Stewart's Watercolor. At any time during this video, you can click on the link in the lower right hand corner to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn more about my YouTube videos, my self paced courses, or my online classes, you can click on the links that appear at the end of the video. So today I'll be working on uh, this simple composition of a, of a country home uh, with some tall trees behind it, blue sky, just some simple ground here in front. And we're just going to keep it fairly simple and focus on some of the larger shapes. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with a big wash, uh, sky wash. And I'm going to just use some cerulean blue. Use a little bit of that, get a big sky wash, add some water. I'm working at about a 20 degree angle. And this is a 8 by 10 uh, piece of paper that I'm working on. So... I want to make sure that I load up my brush with plenty of, of water or moisture uh, from the mixture on my palette. I've added plenty of water to my mixture. You know, get some, you know, some luminosity from the light reflecting back through the paint from the white of the paper. And I'm going to add a little more water. I'm going to get a little lighter as I come down here. And let's see. There we go. Gonna paint around uh, the structure, but I'm not so worried uh, about uh, these trees because uh, I'm going to be painting darker, darker values over those. I'll work around this. There were an area I wanted to preserve the you know the white of the paper. I just paint around it just as I am the structure. Uh, but we're going to bring this down. You don't have to worry about paint running on you know where you don't want it. The dry paper is going to resist resist the flow of uh, moisture. You know for the most part. And. Uh, now, there's a there's a, a, a kind of a tree line back there I'm going to work in. I'm going to take some raw umber. I'm going to take a little ultramarine blue. And get kind of a smoky grayish brown tone back here. And I'm going to have some soft edges because I'm taking that right up to the edge of the wash that I just put down. Get both warm and kind of neutral and a little cool maybe in here. Get a little more blue in there. Picking up some of the ambient light. And we'll touch a little bit of warm in there. And we're going to bring that over here. If you look at my photo, there's some kind of a fence or something worked in there. I'm just I'm leaving that out. I'm not interested in that. Missed part of this. Let's get that. Okay, very simple. And let's see. Okay, so you know I've covered that page pretty quickly. You want to use a large enough brush and enough moisture in your mixture and load it on your brush. Load your brush up to give a nice coverage as you bring your wash down you won't see a bunch of brush strokes in your in your smooth sky wash and um, here working uh, letting these edges merge uh, into one another and create a soft edge so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to dry this and then I'll continue okay that's dry and I'm going to take uh, a bit of a raw sienna maybe a touch of burnt orange and uh, we'll mix a little of this blue in there. Let's see. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to paint this rooftop. And get a, a number six brush here. And a little bit of cool color work into there. Taking some of that cerulean blue. And a touch of it 
up here. Gonna get back here. So there's my roof line. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna continue this on. I'm gonna go stay a little bit on the warm side. And then I'm gonna bring those same colors down here. Those very simple washes. Maybe I'll take a little of this cool tone also, get a little of that in there. I've got kind of a grayish gray tone here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint. I don't know if this is a this is some kind of a wall. I'm going to use a little bit of this warm kind of neutral tone that I have. And we'll use a little bit of this over here. We'll use a little cooler mixture over here. Bring that in. Well, I have that color. I might uh, put a little of that in the windows. There's that. And I'm gonna get a little more of the raw umber out here. Maybe a little of this blue. And we've got some kind of a shrub or something here that doesn't have any leaves. It's this is a, a winter uh, time of year. We'll just put that in there. What do we got here? We have a little bit of something. Somehow I picked up a little bit of red at 10 to, but I'll leave that. I'm gonna lift out a little of that just to create some softness, a little bit of light value, lighter value in that. And what do we have here? We're here. We have a little bit of a uh, same thing. Some kind of a shrub. Take some clear water and damp brush and lift a little of that out. It creates just a soft light value. And I'm going to take maybe a little uh, rose matter, a little ultramarine or a little raw umber. And then I'm going to add maybe a little, a little ultramarine blue. We kind of have this brick. Uh, part of the wall here. Keeping this very simple. Looking for the major shapes. For that warm tone. You know, try to change colors in your washes. Don't just paint them, uh, one, make them one dimensional all the time. You know, you can get, uh, you get a lot more interest when you use you know, mix colors into your wash. This is a gray. So I haven't used a lot of colors really, just, you know, going back and forth across the color wheel a little bit here to warm and cool and making neutrals from it. It's dark. Darker shape in here, keeping it soft though. Okay, 
I'm gonna take a larger brush. This is an eight round brush. I'm gonna take a little more raw sienna, a little more cerulean blue, and maybe a touch of uh, sap green. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop some color in here. Got this green. I'm going to take a little bit more of this uh, raw sienna. Maybe a little violet to drop in there. I'm just grabbing colors off my palette that are kind of mixing together. It's pretty simple there. I'm gonna bring this all the way. I don't have to paint, fill that area in. I'll just paint over it. And let's see, I'm gonna get a little more of a violet. So it's gonna ultramarine blue, a little lizard and crimson maybe. It's kind of a gray violet. I'm gonna drop a little of that in here. Okay. Now I want to dry this because I'm, I'm going to put in this. There's a uh, more of the lawn back here, and it's a lighter tone. So I don't want to keep uh, the lighter tone. I don't want the the edges to mingle. So I'm going to dry this. I'm going to put a wash in there. Okay, so now add a little more water to this mixture here. It's going to be fairly warm. Continue that over here. Okay. And now Take some of this on my palette, maybe some of the warm mixture, and uh, I'm going to drop a little bit of color in here. I know in the photo it's pretty, pretty light, um, but I, I want to. I'm going to add, make it a little more interest in here. Let's see. I'll leave that front uh, a little lighter right there. A few. I'm going to go underneath here, make that light or warm. I'm going to come back here and put a glaze on that. Let's see. Darken that. I want this. I'm going to use this kind of a violet color here. A little finer point on my brush. That brush doesn't have much of a fine point. Want a little more blue. That's cobalt blue. Paint some small windows in there. Let's uh, go take some of this green. Just mixing what's on my palette here to, to tone things down. I'm 
gonna dry that when well, I get down here dry down here it's just still too wet so put these shutters in here Yeah, let's see, we got the, uh, got a window here, I'm gonna go a little darker in. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this. Okay, so that is dry, and um, I am gonna take the uh, uh, some some greens, some golds, and uh, see here. I'm gonna use right now. I'm gonna start with uh, this is an eight round brush. Here's some raw sienna. Maybe I'll take a little of this quinacridone and gold, some sap green. I'll take a little bit of a lizard and crimson put in there with a sap green. Graze things down. We'll start with that and I'm going to uh, we'll start with a little sharper edge brush. This is a six uh, round brush with a, with a point because I want to want to get around these the, the structure here and uh, maintain pretty good edge on these so use this brush for that a little bit more gold in this So I look at this as one big shape, really. And let's see, got a bit of a tree down here. You notice that I'm I'm painting the foliage before before I come in and, and put in a tree trunk, I do that off, often because too often we put the make a tree trunk and then we just hang things off of it and make it look like everything, the foliage doesn't go all the way around it, which it does. So a lot of times I put the, the foliage in first and then I come back and place my tree trunks on top of it. Not always, but frequently I do. Okay, I wanna get a little bigger brush. In fact, I'm gonna get a flat brush, a half inch flat brush. So all my strokes don't look the same. And this gives a nice, yeah, this will give a nice broken edge if I take some of that moisture out of there. You know, I'm gonna have repetition here in, in trees, but Tops kind of, but I don't. I want variation still, so I want things to look, you know, a little different from one to the next. And I want to make it look like I took a rubber stamp. And that that isn't just the area I'm painting; it's the space in between the tree tops here. I want to create variation there where I can. So here we're coming in. And let me get my little sharper point again, so I can work around here. Okay. 
more sap green, alizarin crimson, and I'm gonna take a little royal blue. I'm gonna get a little darker in some of this, but. Kind of pushing these around my brush. Got a little more gold in here somewhere. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my flat brush and I'm gonna drag that around and push it around and make some you know, yellow moisture off there. Get some of that broken edge going. Some royal blue in there, get that get a little darker value. Scrub it with my brush. Get some of this darker value back here. And I think I need to come down a little lower. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry that. Okay, so that's dry. I'm gonna take, this is actually a number four round brush. And I wanna, I'm gonna paint these trees coming through here. A few branches. And we got to uh, go a little lighter. I'll lighten that up. We have these little columns or something on the front. So I want to break that area up. All right, so 
So now I'm going to take some of this raw umber. Aquamarine. I'm going to take some royal blue, which is a really dark blue. And I'm going to start to put in these tree trunks. See some of that going up through here. And we've got these tree trunks here. I like to break or hit the a wash when I paint something like that sometimes with my finger or a tissue or something just to create some variation in the in the wash a little lighter a little darker soft edge hard edge pick this up through here you get one here And there's one of the picture over here. I'm not going to put that one in. So let me get some darker values here. This is red blue with a little bit of raw umber, maybe a little burnt orange. Get some moisture. And I want to get a little darker in a few spots. Areas here. Some areas here with some underneath the roof line. The, the edge of the roof, you're going to have some darker values. I'm going to put just a touch of a line there. And I'm going to come back with a shadow there. Let's see. Got some vertical shapes up here. I'm just gonna kind of throw those in. Got a gutter here. Okay, let me give that a, a quick dry. Okay, so I want to get a little bit of clean color here. Clear this area of my palette. Okay, and I'm going to take a this is a six round brush, and I'm going to take a little bit of uh, cobalt blue. And just a little bit of a, a warm tone. Kind of gray it down a little. There's an area here where I'm going to paint this shadow. So I got a shadow under there. I'm going to add a little bit of line in a few spots. We'll bring a little bit more of that, that uh, color that I have here, color and value. And maybe a little bit here. 
So bring in a little more cool, cool blue. Yeah, throw a little wash over there. A little extra there. Go glaze over that whole area there. And let's see. Not this area, a little bit of a shadow here. Too detailed on this. I'm going to take a little, little bit of a darker value and get some of that going here in this foreground. Not a lot, just to kind of sh help show the contour of the of the ground. All right. So that is about as far as I'm going to go on that. So just taking a simple little composition. Setting some big wash treatment with big shapes, uh, some very simple washes on here, both warm and cool, and not a whole lot of colors, um, but there you go, just a simple little 8x10 painting.